How do you guys? Welcome back. Cross checks chat five now. Um, just a quick update, really. Uh, what we're getting on with uh, the NHS orders, the sale, and just kind of how we are generally doing. Uh, and also, we'll pose a question to you guys at the end about who you want in to come in the next video. We'll try and get all the people. Um, how are you doing, Pete? Bored a little bit. <laughs> really, actually, quite relaxed though, to be honest. Like when you think about it, this sort of time in the year for us with playoffs and the GB games coming up and all the work that we have uh, around this time is, is quite stressful. I mean, obviously, don't get me wrong, we enjoy it, but it can be quite stressful. And yeah, like the last three or four days I've been sat doing nothing really. So it's quite surreal. First time in about five years that this time of the year has, uh, has been like this, I suppose. What about yourself? Yeah, um, it's been a bit weird actually. Obviously, everyone's been sharing playoff pictures and whatnot, and obviously, it's come up on our like, memories and whatnot. I don't know about five, no. um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been odd. But I've been I've been chilling for most of the weekend. Obviously, we had Easter, so I've been eating a lot of chocolate, getting even more fat than what we would have been down in Nottingham. <laughs> but yeah, I've uh, been down to the office uh, today to start moving the sales stuff, um, and. Yeah, just kind of getting on, really. Just kind of got to suck it up, haven't we? I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather yeah. be bored, bored now and then have a good summer, hopefully. So how have you been spending the time at home? What have you been up to? Uh, Netflix, Disney Plus. Any all... recommendations off for Netflix? Uh, obviously, The Tiger King, what we've been sharing memes from. <laughs> you watch Tiger King by now when you're a fan of Crosscheck. Then, and you're the sort of person that probably shares some of the sense of humour that we do. Then <laughs> you've got to watch Tiger King, definitely. <laughs> that bitch, Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, uh, what was that? I can't remember what the film was called that you told me to watch. That was wild. Oh, the, the platform. The platform on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're into weird, like messed up films, go and watch that. Like, this. yeah, that's not one for the kids, really. No, no, no. definitely not one for the kids. Definitely not. <laughs> And then I watched a crap ton of The Simpsons on Disney Plus because for some reason Disney have the rights to all The Simpsons ever. So why not? Cool, cool. What have you been? What I know you recommended me something last night. What have you been? Uh, uh, I've smashed my way through Money Heist, <laughs> which is absolutely incredible. Um, if anyone's looking for a series to get into, that um, it's pretty easy viewing. I fully recommend it. Um, it's in Spanish with overdubbed uh, language so it adds a little bit to the sort of I don't know I, I always think anything like that comes across as a little bit eerie but yeah it's very very good so yeah the money, I, that's my recommendation. I've added it to my list as well so I'll, uh, I'll check back in with you in a couple of days on that. It's one of them ones that once you start you get to end of uh, an episode then you know you're on and set for an all-nighter because it's hard to uh, switch off and walk away from. I can, I can vouch for that. <laughs> I'll make sure I finish all sale orders before I start it. Then. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That might be a good idea for you. <laughs> Get all the rules that away as well. Um, but yeah, I guess mentioning sale orders and stuff, we'll talk about NHS a bit, uh, a little bit first. Uh, we've been down, uh, well, I've been down and packed them all. Uh, obviously, Pete's wife, she sells them all, so she's selling everything. Pete travelled it down for us and they're now all packed all ready to go and you'll have those in the next uh, couple of days um share with us on social media take some photos in them and everything if you're someone who serves in the nhs first of all thank you for serving in the nhs and doing everything you're doing um and second of all i hope that if you're working in a capacity that's maybe behind a desk or something like that for now wear your t-shirt with pride take it to work and just show the people because we're very proud of what we've done very proud of the money we've raised and uh, there's going to be a few more on sale in the next couple of days. I yeah. 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 There's a few uh, sizes left over. I think firstly, we'll just wait to make sure that everyone who pre-ordered it gets theirs, make sure that Royal Mail don't accidentally lose any or people get theirs and realize it's not the size they want. So they want to return it. So once all those are, we're confident that that such sort of situations resolved, then yeah, we'll, um, we'll get the balance online because there's a few people that have sort of messaged us and asked, oh, you know, I've been, I've worked in the NHS, I've been working long shifts, I've missed this. So we do have a few left over. So if you can just bear with us and then once, um, once we've got those numbers sorted, we'll release them online and let everybody know that, that that's what's happening. Smashing. 
and I assume uh, with the second load of sales, there'll obviously be a second donation for us to share with everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So there's not as many coming round. Obviously, we only order uh, a handful of extras just to cover for, like I say, stock losses and uh, potential returns and whatnot. So, but yeah, there'll definitely be a, a second donation going out. So, yeah, all all good. Happy it is. And then on the sale front, just a massive thank you to everyone who turned up to not not playoff weekend. Not playoff weekend was fun for us, seeing everyone's names coming in. Some people we don't see all year round. They come and see us at playoff weekend. They couldn't this year, so they still jumped in on the sale online. And it was, yeah, yeah. So it was. We, it was uh, um, everyone who wanted something managed to pick up exactly what they wanted. Um, for now, um, stocks are running low because we're pretty much stuck in in this sort of quarantine and we can't bring as much in um some of our the factories that we work with are closed as well so um keep your eye out on the store now for when things start moving again and we'll get some restock sorted and we've got a whole load of new stuff that we're ready to launch so once we get that out uh once we get back up and running then we should have a pretty fresh looking web store for folks to uh to check out We've also spoke, me and Pete, off camera about uh, we're both going to set up a little list for ourselves um, and what we want to keep, what we don't want to keep. Um, we're going to try and cross-reference that. Um, so just for a social media thing, when you've watched this video and you've got to this point and you've heard this part, comment down below what don't you want to get rid of. What's your favourite piece of clothing currently on our online store? We'd like to know. What do the people like? Yeah, yeah. Um, did you watch any hockey this weekend, seeing as it was not playoff weekend? Um, yeah, a little bit. I ended up watching um, some of the Blaze uh, 2015 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, game, so the semi-final and obviously the final yesterday against Sheffield when they somehow miraculously pulled a 4-0 lead right. out of the back on that one. But, yeah. Brian, Brian Stewart, rode the back of Brian Stewart all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are. So, I watched that one, and on the Saturday, I think I watched. What did I watch on the Saturday? I think it was the Steelers uh, Storm game on the Saturday that I watched that they replayed. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, it was it was not playoff weekend, but there was still lots of hockey floating around from respective clubs. Uh, I'm sure they're going to carry on doing it during the off season. Why wouldn't they? Just because it's not meant to be the season. I think it's proved quite popular just to keep the people interested and keep the people talking. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And hopefully, once we get some idea. Uh, um you know lift lifts on social um distancing and all that kind of thing then looking forward to the merry-go-round that is the the signings and the rumors <laughs> and the uh you know and all that kind of stuff for, for over the summer so bring it on definitely shout out actually to david grant for this he made me chuckle on twitter because obviously it was not playoff weekend and he was sat in virtual bunkers and he was talking about a rumor that he heard in virtual bunkers and this that, and other and you know it just it did make me chuckle the, well, the, there is a current rumor. jeff Legui coming back to steal as well right <laughs> no rod, rod sarich mate rod, always <laughs> No, but there is a rumour, I don't know if you've seen on social media, apparently Paul Thompson to the clan, who knows, we'll see. Uh, a bit, I think you'd be an interesting fit, maybe, it might be what they need. Um, but yeah, obviously we said our, our goodbyes on Twitter to Zach Fitzgerald, so good luck in the future to him. It's been a... Yeah, yeah definitely, good luck, Zach. And, it's been uh, an season. Family uh, been a supporter of the brand for a good few years since your time in Sheffield, so yeah, thanks for all you've done for us as well. And Definitely. Good luck wherever you head next. Fingers crossed. I think it's crossed we'll see him again. I think we might. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's about it. I've done nothing but watch Netflix. Well, <laughs> well I remember, I've got to say, uh, I have posted this out on Twitter, but you probably haven't seen it yet, but it's happy birthday today to Aaron Asham. Oh, it is, yes. I, I do know it's his birthday, but I've not seen you post it. Yeah, I do yeah, know it's his birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I think it was a, there's another brand, uh, like a podcast over in America that posted. It was a picture of him and Cam Janssen, both of which, like, obviously Aaron's obviously the part, the reason that Crosscheck, ex or one of the reasons Crosscheck exists. But Cam was a big supporter of us whilst he was over here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm led to believe he still wears his Enforcer jacket when he does his uh, stuff on Blues TV every now and again, so. Yeah, he's a... <laughs> For those who don't know, obviously, uh, Aaron Asham is probably the final piece of the jigsaw that came about the start of Crosscheck. And obviously, he, that was the reason we got the name 
Um, and obviously from there we were able to start properly planning what this brand were going to be. But until the sort of inspiration came from him, then we were, it was literally just an idea in floating around. So yeah, happy birthday, Aaron, wherever you may be. <laughs> happy birthday, Aaron. But yeah, um, I think that's it from us for the day. Nice and a short and sweet one. For First part of the video, yeah. Spot on. Nice one. So uh, remember, guys, leave in the comments below on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, whichever you see this. Um, who would you like to for us to try and get hold of next? Is it going to be yeah, a yeah. Is it going to be a player? Is it going to be a coach? Who would you want us to approach? The worst we can get is a no. The best we can get is a yes. So let us know who you'd like to. Who you'd like us to chat to next time? Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think we'd just like to end by saying, you know, stay, stay at home, stay safe, guys. As you know, stay healthy and. Um, keep doing as uh, the, the government's asking and hopefully we'll all be back on the streets and out and about as soon as. Now, never mind on streets, getting back to a rink. That's, what, that's yeah. the plan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah good, luck at, good luck at that when it's like middle of June, hey, early July. Look, we've, we've, been, we've been hockey style, man. We'll find something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time. See you.